Wellsford. You've had a little uh, setback yesterday, actually a massive setback yeah. for both this race as well as uh, future aspirations this year with Kellen O'Brien having a broken collarbone. Yep, yep. Uh, you know him well, you race with him all of the time, you know what sort of uh, diligent, professional <laughs> young man he is. Yeah, definitely. Uh, how's it uh, going to play out now? Yeah, well, a bit, bit of a hard day for us, uh, losing Kel and, and, and Tyler as well, so um, yeah, even, even bigger for our, uh, you know, track track emissions and our track preparation for the games and obviously Worlds in about 30 something days so um, I'm sure he'll be right, he, you know, Kel bounces back really fast and um, I think he's in surgery now getting it uh, plated I think so, you know, he should be right in a couple of weeks but just it'll be, you know, it'll be interesting to see how much pressure he can put on his you know, on his on his shoulder in the aero, aero, aero posse so with team of shooting, you know, the positions are so extreme now and there's so much stress going through your shoulders and your neck and stuff, so he might be out for a little bit, but um, I have no doubt that he'll, he'll be back for Worlds. I'm, I'm confident he will, but it depends how he, what level he can get to in that short time of uh, you know, rehab and recovery. But the, we can still say that the Tokyo option's not, uh, there's, there's no dramatic effect on that, is there? No, no, definitely not. I mean, Tokyo's in eight, this is almost five months away or something, so six months, so we got we got a long time for that, and I think, you know, the pre our preparation for that we hasn't even really started yet, so, you know, we're just doing a good good roadblock now, laying that really good base before we, you know, start doing that track prep and that, that preparation overseas, so, um, yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine for that, and, you know, like I said, Kel's such a, a weapon, a talented boy, that he'll be, he'll be back in no time. I know we're at the Tour Down Under, and you've got uh, the role of the team sprinter, and yeah. we should be talking a little bit about that, but... Uh, you know how I am about the team pursuit. Yeah, I know yeah. how, you, how uh, transfixed you are on that concept. Mm -hmm. You, um, in, a, in an Olympic year, Australia tends to win the Worlds mm -hmm. and then come second. At least that's how it's been the last two yeah. Olympiads. Uh -huh. uh, what do you? Can you try and give me a forecast of how it's going to play out in 2020? Yeah, well, it's hard because now you see all these teams that are going, you know, sub 50s and sub 49s, you know, in 48s now. So. It's going to be interesting to see how people ride worlds because yeah, like like in 2016, I rode I rode the worlds in in um in London and we we beat the Brits and that probably was the one of the one of the probably biggest mistakes we did I reckon because we united you know, that big hunger for them but um it's hard to say I think you'll go out there and just like nail your rides and it will be I think a lot of teams will be trying new things um you know new equipment new bikes new skin suits so for us it's just like a dress rehearsal you know lay down all the preparations that we'll do for the Olympics but obviously not at that level probably. Um, I don't even know what the Olympic prep is going to be like now. We haven't really seen it yet, but I know it's going to be a lot, a lot different to what we've done in the past. Um, so hopefully, um, like I said, it'll just be a big rehearsal and, and kind of like just nailing the processes that we'll do on race day for the games at Worlds. All right. Yeah. I hope that we can have a chat one time without the loudspeaker blaring yeah, and definitely. Uh, the choir boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, um, let's uh, give you a big. Uh, Cheer for what you've done already this uh, this year with the national title in the yeah. crit, and I wish you all the best in Victor Harbour today. I hope you get up and give yeah. up a good win. Thanks, thanks, Rob. Cheers. Hopefully, I can get over that climb, and if not, I'll try to be up the road for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks.